this video, we will show you various types of hand augers and their specific use. The augers can be used for general soil investigation in all kinds of soils and are available in various designs. The augers are available in various diameters varying from 4 to 20 cm. The auger bottom part can be used in combination with different top pieces. Let's have a look at the basics. Here we use the top piece with detachable synthetic grip. The whole synthetic grip is screwed into the upper part. Take the Edelman auger bottom part and connect it to the handle with the bayonet connection. Be sure that the coupling sleeve is securely fastened. You are now ready to drill. Always try to drill in the most ergonomical way and as vertical as possible. After about two till three complete rotations, the auger is filled with an almost indisturbed sample. Do not overfill the auger. Remove the auger out of the soil. Always mind your back. The sample is held in position by the auger blades. For a solid profile description, the sample is discharged onto a foil. Mind the drilling sequence. The auger is placed in the auger hole again for the next sample. The upper part of the sample is removed and the sides are cut away to have a depth specific sample. The remaining sample is discharged onto the foil for a correct profile description. For deeper augering, extension rods are coupled between the auger bottom piece and the handle. Clamp the two parts of the push-pull handle around the extension rod at the desired height. Pull the auger out without straining your back. With the sample in the correct sequence, the soil profile can be examined and described. To empty the auger easily, place the auger on an angle on the surface or the ground. Lightly press and turn the auger by 180 degrees on the soil surface. The material is loosened and can be easily emptied out of the auger body. Let's have a closer look at the Edelman auger body. The blades of the auger are sharpened on one side and that's why you always turn it clockwise. The Edelman auger clay type has the narrowest blades to encounter as little resistance as possible. The blades of the combination type are slightly wider and more rounded to retain the sample. The blades of the Edelman sand auger are wider than those of the combination type. The wider blades of the Edelman sand auger give the auger a wider surface area for holding the soil. The blades of the coarse sand auger are even wider, resulting in an almost closed auger. The auger for stony soils is heavier and more robust. The auger has slightly protruding angled points that curve in towards each other. They form an almost enclosed auger body, but don't actually come into contact with each other. Stones that are encountered are wedged between the auger blades, while slightly finer soils, coarse sands with fine gravels, also stay in the auger. The riverside auger consists of an open tube with two spoon-shaped auger blades at the bottom end. The points of the auger blades loosen the soil by scraping it and pushing it evenly into the tube. The auger blades project out a little beyond the tube, which means that the auger encounters a minimum resistance from the soil. Various top pieces or handles are available. From the left to the right. The ergonomical handle with ratchet. The handle with ergonomically shaped grips. The top piece with synthetic detachable handle. And the normal handle. The ergonomic handle with ratchet ensures a more favorable twisting and turning action, as well as a more efficient application of force. The ratchet can be set for right and left turning. The ergonomical handle with ratchet allows augering close to objects such as hatches and walls, as the ratchet system only requires a very short twist. With the augers of Eichelkamp, you always have the right auger at hand.